Hey cuties and welcome to part 2 of me sharing all of my female CC bottoms I currently have in my game. As always you can find links to all of the CC in the description down below and I did part 1 of this 2 weeks ago I'll make sure to link you to the video right now so you can go check that out if you have missed it. I also do CC related videos every single Friday so if you haven't already and you don't want to miss my future uploads make sure to subscribe to the channel but without further Further ado, let's get straight into this. I hope you are all doing well. I did have to make a little confession. Okay, we lied in the thumbnail a little bit. I put 200, probably, I haven't done the thumbnail yet. So <laughs> I'm like telling you about a lie I'm gonna come up with, okay? Because I'm gonna put that we have 200 CC items today in the thumbnail is not 100, I think 92 if i remember correctly but come on like how was that gonna look on a thumbnail so we're just gonna round it up a little bit <laughs> i always hate doing that but then i'm like it's really not a big deal like no i don't think anyone just looks at the number and is like oh it's 200 i thought it was 200 like there's eight missing i mean I think I think we can all agree that that's not a very bad lie. Okay, it just looks nice. It's a nicer number and it's very weird to put 192 on the thumbnail. So that's how we got here. Okay, <laughs> that's my little confession of the day. We did, however, I think have a little bit over 200 items in the last video or was it exactly 200? I can't remember. I have the worst memory ever, but yeah, I am very excited for the weekend. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have like a lot of great plans whatever that may be if it's just being at home and relaxing also a great plan i am hoping to do more of that this weekend my last two weekends have been a lot more busy than i would have liked them to be and my week was also for my standards very busy okay <laughs> like, i don't do well with appointments i had a dentist appointment on I think it was Monday, Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember, I think it was Monday and it was all good. I love going to the dentist, like I'm not scared, it's fine. I just, it's the thing of like having to remember to go and because of my ADHD, I feel like I don't get anything done before the appointment because I always think if I start doing something, I will get lost in it and like lose track of time and be late for the apart uh, for the apart for the appointment so i just rather i you know i just don't do anything because i keep looking at the clock i'm like i can't possibly start anything now even if i have five hours i'm like i can't do anything now because i will just lose track of time and be late and that can't happen bear in mind i, I was almost late to the appointment anyways um i was like cycling there so fast and it was raining it was awful but <laughs> I made it there. Um, it, it was super fast. Like I go to the same dentist that I went to as a child and it was so funny because he was like, oh yeah, you make me feel old because I remember when you were so little and I had to pick you up to sit you on the chair and like, it was, I don't know, it's kind of wholesome. And I really like him. He also always give me, gives me compliments for my teeth. It's like the only doctor who never has a bad thing to say about me or like, because GPs would always be like, oh, you should exercise more. You should quit this. You should quit that. But like my dentist is always just like, you're great. Your teeth, amazing. We love them. <laughs> so I'm just sitting there like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> it's just amazing, okay? <laughs> So there is that. And then on Wednesday, two friends of mine came over. We were just kind of hanging out and then we decided to make something for dinner. So we went out, got some food shopping done and then we made some ramen, which was very nice. Um, it was really fancy because we made like a million different veggies and tofu to go with it. And it was just so good. And I still have the broth here. So like for the last two days, I've just been eating that, which is amazing. We love that. Leftovers great also reminded me that i should just always have some sort of broth at home because then you could just like add veggies and a protein and noodles and you're good to go but i feel like last year i made so much miso soup that i just kind of like got over it 
<laughs> I think I was literally just over it. I was like, no, I can't eat this anymore. I've had too much of it. But having it now, I was like, mm, I miss this. I should make it more. So that is always good. I feel like it's very nice to cook with your friends because everyone has such different habits of what they eat, how they prepare their food. So it just gives you more ideas, I guess, of what you can make, what foods are out there, what you could eat. It's just because I feel like I get in a rut with my dinners. So I just have like one thing that I get hugely obsessed about and then I just eat that for so long until I'm sick of it. And I'm like, okay, what have I eaten before that? And then <laughs> come up with something else, you know? Um, recently it's been soy curls. Um, I made them oh, because I have liquid smoke so I just like put them in some broth with some liquid smoke and then I fried them up a little bit. I have this amazing sweet soy sauce so it's a bit sticky and I add that after I fried it up and then I also just did some onions and peppers that I fried up and then had that with rice and it was divine and I got into such a habit of eating that. I literally ate that for almost two weeks straight. <laughs> Then I got kind of sick of it, um, which now thinking about it, I'm like, I should do that again. But <laughs> you get what I mean. <laughs> that was my phase and now I'm entering a new phase. Maybe I'm entering my miso soup phase again. I would, I would hope so. It's a great food to have. But yeah, I think it just gives you like more creativeness with your cooking if you will if you cook with other people also interesting just to see how they cut their veggies how they prepare their food it's just i don't know i think it just gives you more ideas and it was actually really nice and we should do it more but i was also exhausted because my cats hopefully had giardia i hope they got rid of it but um, I had to after they got their last dose of like five days of the medication that they're taking you have to clean everything, like every surface or the floors. You have to redo the bedding. You have to wash everything they could have sat on. So it was a lot. And I woke up that morning, literally just cleaned for like three or four hours. And then my friends came over and they left at 9 p.m. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't even have a minute to sit down and just think. <laughs> me being such an introvert i feel like i really need that i need to sometimes just sit and think and like have my own space and even just having one day of not doing that i'm like i don't know how i ever did that on a daily basis like when you still went to school or whatever and you had like very long days almost every single day i don't understand how i did that it makes no sense i mean it makes sense now that i never went to school because i was just overwhelmed i was like nope i need a break so um makes all makes sense now um but that was a thing that I just I mean I already knew that about myself but it was kind of like a relearning I guess and then yesterday I had to go to a different doctor like a few months ago I was just sitting in bed at night and I was feeling my shoulder and felt a lump in my shoulder which I feel like if anyone else has ever had an experience like that it's just kind of like that moment of you being like uh oh you know like this is not good um but then I straight away like googled it which was for once in my life a good idea because um just by like knowing how it feels it was pretty clear from the google research that i did that it's just like a lipoma and then i went to my gp i think last week and she also said that it's a lipoma and uh, well most likely i mean obviously if they don't have an ultra scan of it they can't really tell but she was like it feels like it i shouldn't be too worried about it but she told me to do an ultra scan anyways which i can't do at her office because she doesn't have the proper machinery for it so I had to go to a different doctor which oh my god me making appointments at doctors that just doesn't work so my mom straight away got to it and like literally probably called every doctor under the moon if they can have an ultra scan with me <laughs> and she found well she didn't find anyone who actually did it so we asked the GP and she referred us to one and I went there and it was the weirdest experience I have ever had at a doctor's I like first of all here when you go to a doctor you like ring the doorbell they let you in they have like their own room for the reception and the waiting room you just go to the reception tell them what the deal is and then sit down and wait i was ringing the doorbell and nothing happened even though i could like clearly hear voices from the other side so i was like okay that's a bit weird and i was let into that bill because it's usually like in 
an apartment within an apartment block where the doctor's offices are. So I was like, okay, maybe because I was let in downstairs by someone who just left, um, maybe, you know, didn't register. Like maybe you need to ring the doorbell downstairs first for them to hear it. So I went back down, rang the doorbell, nothing happened. I was like, great. Then someone else entered the house. I was like, okay, let me go back up again. So I did that. Then finally was let in and I entered and I was pretty much already standing in the waiting room, which was a bit weird. And the receptionist was like, okay, so what is it? What do you need? And I was just like, well, okay, well, I called, like I'm supposed to do an ultra scan. And she straight away was like, no, no, you don't need an ultra scan. We don't do that. And I was just like, okay, because that's literally what we emailed them about at the beginning of the week. And they were like, yeah, you can come anytime between nine and 12 on any day. And it was just so weird. I was like, uh, okay. And then she's like, yeah, like the doctor can see and she can tell you straight away if it's a lipoma or not, which I'm like, yes and no, because you never really know what's going on on the inside, even if it feels a certain way, you know, to be sure. I feel like you should always do that. And I live in a country where I'm fortunate enough that I don't have to pay hundreds of euros to have that done, <laughs> you know? Um, so it was a bit weird that she was like, no. And even if I feel like she said, I might have to pay a little extra, which would have been like between 10 to 30 euros to pay extra to get an ultra scan. I was like, obviously I would do that to know that it's like 100% a lipoma, even if everyone tells me, because you just, I mean, it's so much better to be sure, right? Like, I feel like everyone would agree. And it was so weird because I sat down and the, like there were two rooms. I think one was like her office and the other one was the room where she did the ultra scans in. And that place with the ultra scans was just open the whole time and there was like a lady sitting in there who i don't think spoke um the best german and the doctor kept coming out and going into another room and kept talking about this patient but not with the patient like the door was open everyone in the waiting room was literally sitting right in front of this room and she was just ta like talking about this patient and i'm like that is so uncomfy and insensitive and like this poor patient doesn't even know what's going on because her German isn't the best so she doesn't really know what's happening and that the doctor's like talking about her in front of all of these other people so it was very uncomfy and if I wouldn't have social anxiety I feel like at that point I would have just gotten up and been like I think I'm good like I don't like what is going on here I don't like this. I mean the nurse I think the receptionist was also a nurse she was very nice like I heard her in the other room but it's just weird that you could hear everything I feel like that shouldn't happen like you should definitely have more privacy when you go to a doctor's but I already didn't like that and the doctor was so weird and like the room the ultra scan room looked so effing weird I've never seen anything like that in my life it kind of looked like a punk rock club there was like paint splattered on one side of the wall like just splattered it wasn't paint it wasn't a paint job it was literally just like droplets of paint that have, someone has like thrown onto the wall and then on the floor there was a bit of paint as well and then they were like weird poster kind of thing and they had those like glitter boas hung on top of it kind of like from meets punk rock club it was very surreal and weird and i was like what is happening here and i was like okay maybe she's just like an eccentric doctor you know she's a bit a little bit older this might have been her youth maybe she thinks it's like a cool artsy thing to have in her office whatever and then the waiting room was super busy but i was let in very early i think because the doctor literally just looked at what i had for like two seconds and then i was let go so they probably just tried to free up some spaces because in the time I was there, the doorbell rang a million times and the receptionist just wouldn't open. Like she wouldn't reply and be like, sorry, the waiting room is full, you have to wait outside. She didn't say any of that. She literally just ignored them, which I think is so weird. Like I've never experienced that. It was so odd. And then I was like seen by the doctor and she walked into the room. She didn't even say hello. So I just looked at her and I was like, hi. So like try to explain what is going on. She's like, yeah, take that thing off, like meaning my jumper. And I was like, okay, so I took my jumper off. And then she felt it and she's like, yeah, that's a lipoma. Like, can't do anything about it. You just have to get it removed. And I was like, uh, okay. And that was pretty much it. And I was like, well, do I have to get it removed? Like, is it bad? Can it just stay, whatever? And she's like, I'd get it removed. It's not gonna look nice. Like, it's only gonna get bigger. You just get it removed. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> and I was just so overwhelmed very weird experience i mean i'm fine afterwards now but it's just so weird because i didn't get what i needed to <laughs> and 
<laughs> it's so surreal. I don't know. If you feel like it, share some of your weird doctor stories with me. I would love to hear that I'm not the only one. But anyways, <laughs> this video is coming to an end real soon here. I hope you're all doing well. And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all next time. Bye.